Good day, Henry. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? Radzig will keep me alive only as long as it takes to get everything I know out of me. You, on the other hand, gave me certain assurances. So I want to be sure that the secrets my life depends on end up in good hands. I didn't promise you anything, but I'll see what I can do. Very well, ask me What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. Old friends? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Crimps. Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. You said you gave them money. They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. Hmm. This Eric, you reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this Eric? He used to come to the workshop unannounced. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I can try, but I can't promise you anything. All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezhek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sassau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. Sir Yezhak didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. 
Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here. Nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I'm, uh, I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Rad House. Someone must have heard something. Be Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. Sir, there's one more thing. Sir Yezhek went with me without resistance because I promised him he could come to an agreement with you. My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name, but if it can prevent bloodshed, why the hell not? But I can't say yet what will become of him. As you command, sir. Good day to you. What do you need? I'm looking for an odd jobber here. From Moho yet? I haven't seen him yet today. Ah. Have you noticed anything? And what's your idea? Have you heard of anyone looking to hire some rough men? Mercenaries, you mean? Yes. There were some fellows conspiring here in the corner twice a week, and others coming and going. They didn't look entirely respectable, but they never made any trouble. Where do you think they might be meeting now? How should I know? I'm an honest innkeeper, not a man at arms. And what happened to them? I don't know, they just stopped. You haven't heard anything about... How could I have? Is there any way I'll recognize them? Unquenchable thirst? They drank like fish. Well, that's not much help. They drank. And they played dice. So they were fond of dice, were they? And where would you find a game around here? Anywhere there's dice and usually drink. That's all you need for a game. Although it dawns on me now. I never saw Simon with those men, oddly enough. He's got a nose for drunken dice players with a coin to lose. Simon who? Why, the young miller. He runs Katzik Mill. You don't know where I might find some uh, more dishonorable folk. And why would you want them? But they'd be the ones to know what reputable townsfolk don't. I grant you that. Well, we don't have an executioner, just a knacker. But he's an odd fellow. What can you tell me about the knacker? Decent folk don't talk about him. I was hoping you'd tell me a bit more than that. Why should I care about him? What can you tell me about There's not much to tell. Anything else? You might not find him at the mill. Thank you for the help. Not at all. May the Lord watch over you.
Good day to you. Are you the local knacker? I'm the local grave digger. But if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me anti knackery. Well, then you might know a lot of things that others don't. I'm a decent man. Not Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church. Ah, but have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to me. And what's been happening in Sassau lately? Nothing interesting. Except maybe that bitch being slaughtered. What? Who was she, a villager? No. I mean a dog bitch. What happened? The dog looked like she'd been hacked to bits. Why on earth would anyone do that? What do I know? Maybe he was snooping around where he shouldn't, and the bitch went for him. I hear there was some dog-bitten fellow being cared for at the monastery. Only they kept him there on account of a broken leg. Anything fishy get to the time. Out. Thank you. Oh. Very well. Feel free to stop by any time. People shy away from me, except when there's a death. God be with you. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask you, Hunker. What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and. Yes. Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Just the two of us. Um. Can I help at all? Certainly. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? Holding up? People here are dying. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? <laughs> Scholars, maybe. But they leave the healing up to God. Can I have a look at them myself? Do you now? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well, go and see if anyone needs anything. All right. Look, Henry, I know last week Bohuslav died. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He had a broken leg. A bad one. I'm not holding out much hope for him. My God! And what do you suggest? Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? I'll give it a go. So you don't know anything? I'll go and take a look.
good luck then. Quiet. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. He'll be able to get out of this. Christ the buff. What are you making? A fuss? Hurts like fuck. And when... Oh, I am for God be with you. Philip. From Scalet. I don't see any wounds. But he's shaking terribly. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. He just needs to sleep. He just needs to sleep. Hmm? You look all right. Mostly, but... Did the Cumans... <laughs> that's what I tell the ladies. Hmm. <laughs> Occasionally. Well, that's no oh, use. Yeah. Please. I've got bandages, so I can take care of it. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? I can do it myself. Um... A long time ago. Well, God be with What happened to Philip? Poor man. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalets, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. <sighs> if he got poisoned. But what can we do? Us. Nothing. And where is he? You know he left Scalets years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. About the man... <sighs> My God. And what? Well, I can try. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. Well, fine. God bless. Holding him firmly. Aye. I won't get any sleep. <laughs> Done. be with you. I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sasau, come and see me. Thomas is my name. How are you doing? I much better. I'm truly grateful. Truth be told, I didn't come just for your health. Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who enjoy a bit of silver. The church. Aye, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light... The door will be open. That's it? Just doing what I told you is enough. All right, thank oh. you. You took care of me. Why wouldn't I help you? Tit for tat, eh? 
Take care now. Amen. So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. But he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight, but not now. Which is what? Steal something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. We'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys. It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Well, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Who's pious, and why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway. Because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. But what if there are others? Normal. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is. 
and get him to betray himself. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> Where better? And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? Hey, you'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow who's been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that... <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. <laughs> and remember... We'll be keeping tabs. Goodbye.
Lord in heaven, what have you done now?
there's something you need. Jesus, not as shallow as it looks. <laughs> 